What are you doing, Taylor? What? Oh yeah, come to Papa. Hey guys, Taylor from Hipfire here. Welcome to What's in the Box. In today's episode, we're gonna be taking the SureCall in-range, in-vehicle signal booster up to the mountains to test it out and show you the installation. All right, let's hit the rope. So SureCall has always been an innovative company trying to push the boundaries of what we can produce with boosters. And uh, with this one, they've really knocked it out of the park by creating a new technology called ERT, Extended Range Technology. And what that does is they've put the signal booster in the exterior antenna, which is going to boost a cleaner, uh, a cleaner signal and provide you with a much more powerful uh, connection and with clearer voice calls, faster data speeds, and basically overall less loss in the system. All right, here we are. So we're gonna start the uh, booster installation. Just gonna grab it out of my trunk here. So, the SureCall in range has two pieces. It's got the outside antenna, then we have the inside antenna. And this, I'll talk about this later. Okay, so the first step is to place your exterior antenna and amplifier combination on the outside of your car. It's a magnet. You can also use the sticky uh, if you don't want to magnet mount it to your vehicle. And then run the cable either through the back, the hatchback, it works better to put it through the trunk, or you can run it down the side if you have a sedan or a, an SUV. So I just want to highlight the fact that this, the reason that this booster and technology uh, makes such a big difference, it allows you to travel so much further away from the tower, is because what it's doing is taking the strongest possible signal and boosting it at the point that the antenna receives it. So instead of the antenna receiving the signal and getting signal loss, and then it's boosted, it's boosted right away, giving the inside antenna the strongest, cleanest, most powerful signal. Okay, so once you have your exterior antenna mounted, just run the cable inside of the vehicle and you can hide it in your weather stripping. So what I'm gonna do is just run it up here and then so that it's not visible, you don't have to do this, but it makes a little bit cleaner install. You can just run it inside of your weather stripping all the way around and then you just continue running it down your weather stripping so that the cable is hidden and then once you get to here you can kind of just decide based on what your vehicle um, how it's designed you can come around the side you can go up up the middle of the seat here come the inside here it just depends on how your how your vehicle is set up but once you decide that then you come to the front and this here is your interior antenna we're just going to attach it to the vent here with these spokes and that can just go there and then the last step is plugging in your power source into your cigarette lighter and uh, connecting everything but first we're gonna run our uh, runner test so we have done our basic installation of the SureCall N-Range signal booster uh, we're in an area with pretty poor signal wavering around one negative 118 and negative 125 dBm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quick data speed test um, to see what the signal's like in this area without the booster connected, and then we'll run the test again to see what it's like with the booster connected. So what it's doing is testing the upload speed and the download speeds, looking like around five-ish, 6.31 uh, megabyte per second download. Now it's going to run the upload test, and that is quite a bit lower. Uh, looks like it's going to be under one megabyte per second. And yeah, okay, so 6.31 download and 0.36 upload. So now what we're going to do is plug in the rest of the booster, finish the installation, and redo that test um, once the signal is being boosted. So. What we have here is the interior antenna for the SureCall N-Range signal booster. And it's also a magnet so that you can attach your phone with the metal plate on the back. Um, and it just mounts and sits there like that. And then once it's in this cradle, it's receiving the boosted signal. So now we're gonna finish our installation by attaching the two antennas. 
So this is attaching the outside antenna and the inside antenna. And then this is the power source. So once we plug this in, the booster will be powered up. And you can see by this green light here, that means the booster has power. So we're just going to wait for a few seconds here while the booster sorts itself out. The phone calms down and uh, receives the lovely boosted signal from the SureCall N-Range in-vehicle signal booster. Um, and while we're waiting, I guess I'll uh, tell you guys a joke. Okay, so we're back in action here. And uh, now we're gonna run this test. Same test we just did, but the booster is now plugged in. And here we go. And here we go. Wow, that's a big increase. Okay, around 20 megabytes a second download, 19.9. And we're just waiting for the upload and We've got a nice increase on the upload as well, just over one, hovering around two, 1.5. So now the internet speed is, uh, is considered fast according to the Google speed test. Um, this is enough inter or a fast enough internet connection to handle multiple devices streaming HD at one time. Um, and that's the SureCall in-range single user in-vehicle signal booster. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.